Elizabeth, we've had nothing but blooming complaints all day. This complaint letter has been here all afternoon talking non-stop about his sender, some Karen somebody. Anyway, are you coming to the cafe to give your old gran a hand, eh? You know I'm in the lurch ever since that sly, cheating Polly Pretzel ran off with them. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I did not, Elizabeth, disgusting girl. That was the new doorbell. Mm. We had to get rid of the old one because it was silent but deadly. Oh, hold on, we've got a customer. Sorry, dearie, what was it you said? Right, so my new TikTok dance goes like this. Are you even watching me? Mm, All mm, right, mm, mates. Mm, mm. Excuse me, we're in the middle of a conversation. Well, I have a task for you. You owe me massive favours. I've got dirt on you. You kidnapped my sister. And you, I have literal dirt on you. I need you to help carry me a uh, oh, blue Stilton massive cheese wheel of a mother, Claire Marie. Now, she stinks a bit and she can only squeak. You want us to carry what? First of all, I don't have arms. Second of all, I don't have legs. Third of all, I'm the weirdest plant in the world. Ask your dad to carry her. Me dad's at work. And she's got a doctor's appointment. Hello, do you have any sweet roses for my old friend, darling Claire Marie, who's going to be so brave with the doctors? She lives, she loves, she has a medical. <laughs> ah, it's so nice to be out of that cafe. Nikki, what are you doing here? I'm sick of smelling my friend's B.O. in the filing cabinet. Paper does not smell good in autumn. Oh. I thought you might want to get some nice smelling lovely little irises for Karen. She holds a place in my heart forever, but why would I do that? Didn't you hear? Hear what? I love a tire pump and a... a no, no, this isn't a bike shop. An Allen key, no! Uh, Have a drink instead. Everything's good, you know. Right, um, okay. Plain black coffee. No sugar, no milk. In fact, no water. Just the beans. Just the beans? Th they add crunch. Right you are, lovey. What's your name? What's your name? I ask first. My name is Sue. Sun. Sue. Sun. Oh, stop. I need to put my hair in a messy bun. <sighs> You're doing good, are my mate? Oh, I'm gonna throw up out of one of my mouths. She smells like mold and public toilets. How dare you diss my mum? What do you expect? She's a cheese wheel on the hottest day of year. I just hope she doesn't melt. I, 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 I just thought with what happened to her house and everything, you might want to get a little gift for her. My Karen? Is she in trouble? What happened to her house? Um, 
didn't you hear? Illegal Scott, the bagpipes, egged her house on Halloween. She gave him an apple instead of sweets. The apple had a pin in it. I think she stormed all the way to Antarctica? He did what? There's a carry shaped hole in my heart. You're my creator. How will I go on without you? I'm terribly sorry, Mickey. I didn't even like Karen. She's the one that complained about me having a glass eye me when she was drinking her tea. She got me banished to the cupboard, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start all this. Well, you already did. I'm leaving to see my beloved Karen. What is it you like doing in your spare time? What do you like to do in your spare time? I asked first. Again. Okay, fine. I like playing with Lego. I know. A 52-year-old who plays with Lego. Mad, isn't it? That's mad and weird. I do too. <gasps> really? You could give me a hand. The Titanic build I'm doing at the moment is a hundred million pieces and it's over six foot long. Huh? It's round the back behind the microwave. Titanic? I worked at the Titanic. I thought the Titanic got sunk. I've seen a film on it. The Titanic fish and chip shop in Grimsby. Oh. But it's not too late to follow your dreams. It is if you want to work on the Titanic. But come on, let's go behind the microwave and get started on the Lego. It's making my mouth water. <sighs> this is unacceptable, my arms. I'm gonna drop her. You don't have arms. Neither do you. Dave, your mum, she's rolling. Ah, don't matter. Doctor's down that way anyway. She's gonna need a lot of surgery. Stupid bagpipes. You regret whatever you did to Karen, my beloved sweet Karen. What did I do? I'm sorry, friend. It's not what you did, little dude. It's what Scott did. Snotty Scotty. Yes, okay, okay, but the nerve of egg egging Karen's house when he lives in a cheap motel, he's broke, don't you know? How am I the only one who doesn't know? Because you don't pay attention. Although, I am a pigeon. I go to all the places, even the places that people don't want me. And that Scott, he's worse than those fleeting cats that killed my old man and pa. He's not gonna get away with this. I'm gonna have to teach him a lesson. But I can't go to prison. Not again. Have you got any Captain's Biscuits? No. This is a fruit stall, pal. Right, well, I'll just have fruit then. Uh, give me one of them lemons. No scurvy for me. <laughs> Not again. All right, pal. So, how's life? After moving into the florist for that fresh start after your wife's tragic accidental death? Well, lately, uh, I've been liking someone. Oh, I love gossip. Who? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Zumba too. It's good for the mind and the body. Gives me a nice pump up. You! You naughty old thing. I know what you did. What? The egg thing? It's no bigger deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You drove away my glorious creator. What? It's her fault for giving me the apple in the first place. Do I look like an apple kind of guy? I could have been killed by the pin. Karen is very obviously trying to pop me. When Karen was a child, she was robbed by someone with bagpipes. She must have thought you were a criminal. I am a criminal. But that's no reason to try and pop me. Karen is a, well, a Karen. That's the last straw. Shut your mouth hole. I've had enough.
Well, she's a very fancy biscuit, very sweet, totally delicious, independent, a small business holder in fact, and last but not least, loves the Titanic and building Lego. Oh, sounds like my kind of biscuit. Who is it, Admiral Fishfingers? Who? It's... Soup. Uh, soup. Soup? What, what soup? Uh, yeah. Hiya, Susie. I was just telling Dave how stupid soup is. <laughs> Pointless. Just expensive, lumpy water. No, you weren't, you goddamn liar. You were saying that you were... Dave, you need to shut your gob. Or, so help me, I will put my fist in it. No, you were saying that you fancy... I'll throw you in the canal if you don't shut your pie hole. Sounds like you two have fallen out about something, hmm? I'm off to the florist where it's more relaxing. Bye, idiots. No. no.